if you want to install Kali Linux on your Android phone, so this video is for you. Let's start. First of all, your phone needed to minimum 9.5 or more GB free internal storage. Here my 11.1 GB free storage. Next download and install FDroid. Open a browser as you like, I'm using Opera. Search FDroid. Make sure the site is fdroid.org. Download fdroid by clicking here. Download. Click here to install. Install. Open. Please wait, when you open the first time, it will take some time to load apps, because the app downloads some required packages and repositories. I'm skipping sometimes. After that click here to search. Search Termux Emulator. Install. Go to Settings to allow apps form unknown source installation. Install it. Now we needed to install a more apps from Play Store. Go to Play Store. Search VNC Viewer and install it. I'm skipping this installation. After that we needed to download Kali FSRM60 for file. An important notice for you, for downloading this file, if your internet connection is not fast so I recommend you to use Opera or Torrent, free download from Play Store. I'm using Opera. Search Kali Linux in the search bar. Make sure the site Kali.org. Click here download. Click mobile. Here there are many model names. Scroll down and search your phone model and then download the file by clicking right side download icon. Can't found your phone model. Don't worry, my phone model also not here. So we needed to download Nethaner Lite RM60 for full. Click here to download. Download. It will take some times, depending your internet speed. So I'm skipping. Open the file manager on your phone. Go to download folder. This is our downloaded file. Extract the file. Go to the extracted folder. Copy or move this file into phone storage. Make sure the file is in here, no into any folder and don't change the file name. Go to the previous folder. Delete this file and folder for cleaning more storage. Now time to installation. Open the Termux app. Wait a few moments. Don't worry, I will also give you the commands in this video description. Termux set up storage and then press enter.
press allow. And make sure your internet connection is on. Copy this. And paste here. Press enter. Please wait for app upgrading and updating. It will take some time, mainly depending your internet speed. When it will show default equals n, then press enter. Enter and enter. Then copy this and paste into Termux terminal. Copy, paste and enter. Copy this and paste into Termux terminal for make file executable. Copy full, don't forget the last dot. Paste here and enter. It will take some time for copying the Calus ARM64 file from phone storage to here. Done. L, S, space enter for showing file and folder list in the current path. This is our file that was copied here from phone storage. Go to File Manager Phone Storage. Delete this file for free up space. Type clear for terminal clean. Copy this and paste into terminal for Nethenter installation. Type N and enter. Please wait, maybe it will take 15 to 20 minutes or more according to your phone specifications. I'm skipping this. After a long time our installation is completed. Type NH to start Nethenter. Type exit for exit Nethenter. My phone storage is low so I needed to clear storage. rm space hyphen rf then file name and enter to remove file. Now we need to set up VSE server. Copy this command. Make sure, before start Nethenter. Then paste the command here.
copy and paste into the terminal. Type Kali, K A L I, space, backspace, and enter. Past hyphen kex to set or change VSE password. Input your password. I'm inputting 1 to 3 for 5 and 6. Then space. Backspace. And enter. Verify the password 1 to 3 for 5, 6 and then space and backspace to remove space and enter. Type N and then press Enter. Start hyphen kex to start VSE server. VSE server are starting. Copy this IP address. Open the VSC viewer. Paste here the IP address. Computer name, type any names as you wish. Then press create. Picture quality high. Connect. Enter your VSC password. Continue. There is a browser network problem. How to fix it? I already made a video for this. Link in this video description. Stop hyphen kex to stop VSE server. Wait a minute, root user nh space hyphen r to start rooted nethenter and exit for logout or nh to start non-rooted nethenter then type su for super user and enter the default password is tor enter to or space backspace and enter